Hey, how y'all doing? Um, this is John Boy 71. Uh, I just wanted to uh, talk to everybody out there. Um, it's really been on my heart lately. I've listened to a couple of messages a day on YouTube. And um, basically, you know, a couple of messages from Dimitri Dudrin. If you don't know who he is, you can look him up. Um, he did some prophecy stuff back, <clears throat> way back over 20 years ago about the United States, what's going to happen and all that. And I just want to, you know, tell everybody that, you know, we we got we to gotta turn as a nation and repent for our sins. We got so many problems right now over here. And, you know, it's not getting any better. And a lot of it, I believe, or the churches aren't, aren't preaching repentance anymore. It's, it's this watered down stuff going on. And I'm not going to sit here and scream and yell and, <clears throat> and you know, get get into it about it you know i think you know what these entertainment churches and stuff are, are just it's no there's there's it's no good you know jesus jesus is nowhere near this stuff and you know um i see all the sin in our land and it's getting worse you know just recently just last week got a 10 year old little boy a drag queen in a magazine with a naked man now what type of parent on earth would ever, number one, let the little boy be a drag queen? Uh, I mean, it's just un unimagin unimaginable. I mean, I could never think if my son came to me and, and, and started any of that stuff, dress, wanting to dress like a girl, I'd sit him down and have, we'd have a little talk. And it, there would be none of that stuff going on in my house. And, <clears throat> and I'd show him in the Bible where it's wrong. You shall not be effeminate. <clears throat> the Bible says that. You know, First Corinthians six nine it goes through a list of sins, list of sins that you know, homosexuality, effeminate, idolaters. You know, just a list of things that we, you know, if we do, if we're partakers in this stuff, we're not going to inherit the kingdom of God. And <clears throat> you know, I think that uh, until the preachers from the pulpit start preaching this type of stuff again this nation isn't going to get any better. This entertainment garbage, this Hillsong garbage, all this stuff, I mean, I mean, all of it, you know, it's no good. And there, Jesus is nowhere in that stuff. And if these guys think they got to do all this stuff to attract people, they're crazy. Because nowhere throughout history were we doing this stuff before with this entertainment garbage trying to attack people to Christ. You tell them the message of Jesus Christ in a loving manner, in a loving tone. You show them that they're sinners and they need to be, <clears throat> they need to repent. They need to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and through His blood they're saved. I don't, I don't understand. Well, I mean, I do understand. You know, Paul spoke about all this stuff all the way through the New Testament about false teachers, about the falling away, about them preaching another gospel. I mean, it. I mean, all of this stuff is coming to pass. And, you know, I challenge you, if you're in one of these churches, you know, uh, try to get out, you know, try to go somewhere else. And I'm, I'm struggling with it right now. My wife, she, she, she likes to go to this bigger church here where we live at. And, you know, it's kind of, you know, uh, the pastor I like, you know, I mean, he preaches, he preaches pretty good and everything, but what I don't like is the entertainment aspect of things. And the one thing I do, I have told her is that I'm giving it until, you know, May of this year. And if I don't hear one sermon on repentance or sin or any of that, uh, you know, we're just going to go somewhere else. And she didn't like it, but she agreed with me. So we'll see. I mean, I don't want to judge, you know, anybody there, <clears throat> but you know, the, the Bible says we are to use righteous judgment. Um, you know, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be as wise as serpents and gentle as doves. And, um, you know, I'm just, you know, <clears throat> I just pray, man, that you, you know, that if you got family members that aren't Christians, pray for them. If you got family members going to these entertainment style churches, pray for them that, you know, that they get out of them, try to, you know, go and go to them in love and show them scripture and, and everything <clears throat> and try to convince them to go somewhere else i know it's really really hard right now to uh 
find a good church because so many churches have went apostate it seems like nowadays that it's really really hard to find a good one but they're still out there um and another thing is you know we as men um i'm just going to tell y'all if there's any men out there struggling with you know pornography or sex addiction um you know check out uh conquerseries.com and check that out and uh, i don't have any affiliate with the website other than you know i'm going through the thing the course and everything myself and it's been a blessing to me and this is as free as i've ever been in my whole life uh, of it and um i'm going on like just about eight weeks now and um it's been a blessing you know uh, faith without works is dead you know so i have faith in, in in jesus that he'll get me through through this thing and and um that he'll set me free but there's work i have to do as well to be set free so <clears throat> that's it for today y'all um appreciate y'all watching and uh y'all have a blessed day